Good afternoon. We are early for once and live once again. Let me get everything loaded up and we will resume wherever we left off in Blasphemous. There we go. Should have audio and video. Okay, we left off at the Wall of Holy Prohibitions. But I did look around a little. I did some research. I haven't done any grinding or anything in this game since the last stream. But I did figure out. I'm trying to see if the best way to get down there. I did figure out the, where the relic is that we need to be able to see the invisible platforms. It's something you have to buy. We have to buy a key. And the key unlocks something in Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. But the shop itself was the, the one lady we ran into way back at the beginning of the game. And that was... Well, it wasn't in this... It wasn't in the town. It was near the town. Oh, these are place your own markers. That would have been useful. Let's see, where was she? she did it mark her? her shop spot on the map. Maybe... Maybe it didn't, huh? Because this is like a weapon shrine. Remember it was in a kind of horizontal corridor type area. We had to duck in somewhere. Huh. Figured it would, would have been in an obvious spot. Is it in the wasteland? No, I don't think it was in here. Alright, well, I'm going to look it up so I don't spend time wandering around. Mercy Dreams. Okay, we gotta go to Mercy Dreams. Where was that? Oh, here. So her shop was somewhere in this area, I guess. here. I guess I can go over here. Take the teleporter. Down here? Yeah, I'm going way up from the bottom. I don't remember which section it is, but we go through here and we'll see it. Okay, let's take a side side quest. You have to buy an item and then go to the Brotherhood. It's weird, loading the game up this time, I didn't have any issues with the controls. Does seem a little loud though. Let me let me get through this section. Let me voice volume where it is. Thank you. 
I'm gonna need to upgrade my healing at some point. Here we need to go all the way up to the left. Try not to die. Hmm. Or not. Does this not connect? Oh, I had to drop down, didn't I? I have to go all the way around, I think. Unless I can go up this way. Nope. Yeah, we're good. Go save. Uh oh. Nope. Okay, yeah, the shop was around here somewhere. It might be here. here. Oh, that was a boss. I think. Well, this was below. I'm going to have to check these corridors kind of systematically. I don't remember where the shop was. Treasure room. Okay, let's head up. It's been a hot minute since we were here. We learned all my parry timing.
Alright, where are we got? It's gotta be one of these sections. Maybe it's not one of the long corridors. Maybe I'm misremembering. I should put a marker here. It's strange that it doesn't flat out tell you. This is what we Behold want, though. Behold what I present to you. Though a small, trust me. For I have the blood of kings on the palm of my hand. Key to the chamber of the eldest brother. What I am offering you, and may my eyes be blind. Okay, so this is a rosary bead to equip. Creates fervor when destroying surrounding objects. I wonder if this is just environmental things. We'll hold off for now. So now that we have the key, now we can head over here. But is there no... Oh, yeah, right here. Okay. It's a bit of side questing today. But getting that particular relic will be helpful. have that marked permanently so that we, if we need to get back there in the future we'll know exactly where it is Oh, good. It's right there. Maybe it'll be good to pop into some of these rooms and try to remember what exactly they were for. This lady is a lady. Is it a lady? Return once you possess new rosary knots to thread. Yeah, okay. She can upgrade our, our rosary May thing. That's right. Be free of... Return once you but I don't have any more knots. Heart... We already did the ones that we had, I guess. Okay. That's a little bead icon is for... All right. Well, we have to figure out where we're supposed to unlock in here. Oh, 
No, oh, of course, it stuck me down here. I just saved right to the right. Let's let's do that first. And maybe we can check the other immediate routes and see. If I don't have to go all the way through that platform section, that would be nice. I don't remember where the the locked object is. Okay, that's the sword shrine. You can look to the side as well. Maybe I'll do that before I go back in where I died. Oh, there's another one. I guess I should look at all these. These might lead to the different spots. Forming, isn't it? That could have been very bad. Oh, this is where we came from. Maybe it's a circular path. Maybe I don't need to go all the way through that. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, okay. Absolve our guilt. Let's see. Let's keep going. Maybe I don't need to go through that whole jumping section. Okay, here we go. Blood perpetuated in sand. That is what we're looking for. Now it'll reveal ledges that were previously unviewable. I completely would have missed had I not looked up how to actually find that object. It's interesting that it's locked behind a, a bought item from a shop. But let's see if we have a spot to test it. Oh, yep, yeah, right there. So whenever we see those little red sort of dots floating around, 
like so. You just have to get to the first one, and then it'll create the platforms in order for us to jump on. Right away, there's stuff to get. But they do go away after a minute. And you can't grapple them, looks like. Okay. So I'm assuming you gotta move fast there. So. Oh, wow, okay. You gotta really move fast. It's a brand new area. Did we fight a boss here? Uh, maybe we didn't fight a boss here. <sighs> Whoops. I guess this, it's going to be a whole area dedicated to learning how to navigate those blood platforms. Tirana of the Celestial, what? Celestial Bastion. Oh, this is new. I haven't been using any of these other ones. These are spells. This doesn't create a barrier, huh? But takes a lot of magic from the looks of it. Okay. We'll take more more abilities. I guess we can look down here, see if now that we have the the relic, if it opens anything up here. Oh, this is where we started. This is the very first section of the game. But there is something up there. But we don't have a way to get to it readily. I wonder if we're going to need to come in from a different spot. I hmm. I assume that was a, a dead end. I didn't see a prompt. But I also didn't really check that closely. That that looks like it's a ah, uh, I need to go back and see if it gives me a locked prompt. I wonder if that requires another key. No, oh, that's that's annoying. All right, we'll double check and hopefully I can do it without falling off and dying. Right. 
I'll run over real quick. Let's see. Yeah, no prompt. I wonder... I wonder if something else is going to bring us back through this spot. Oh well, at least we checked. Sure. Stuck my corpse down there. Alright. So for now, nothing else to be got here. Uh, down here in Grievance, Grievance Ascends. There was something down here, I think. Okay. We'll grab the portal. We're going to head down here check out these spots and see if we can get whatever we need to get it's either platforms or fart gas that has it locked off i see capri sun's here what's up capri sun welcome to the stream and i see capri sun has redeemed a drop a beat as well all right let me mute the game music real quick Capri Sun says as it is custom that is true Nothing wrong with that. Starting off the, the stream with the drop a beat. Okay, let's see. I was messing around with an idea. You might get a kick out of this, Capri Suns. I know you were learning lip rolls. So let me see if I can kind of form this into something functional. And we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Probably should have been paying attention to see how that picked up on the audio. Hopefully it wasn't too loud. Capri Sun says, for me, it has been, been at least been meaning to make it out here for an episode of Blasphemous. I see. Whoops. That's fair. I don't stream it every week. And I know if people are, have been following this playthrough and are waiting for me to get through it and beat it, I'm sure it's frustrating to watch. But we kind of chip away here or there. It's a fun game. It's just difficult. And as you can see from the map, it's a lot of game. There's so much missing. We're at 82%. So the point of today is to try and open up some of the spots that we couldn't get before. Because I came up here to this spot in the upper corner in order to get the relic that will allow us to see these hidden platforms whole bunch of things we, could, we had to just skip because we couldn't get at them. So I'm going to backtrack a bit, look through some of the spots we've been through already, see if we can get some useful stuff. And then from there, we'll, we'll see how long that takes. That might be the entirety of the stream. And then we kind of fill out the map, get more, more stuff filled in. And then we'll beeline for progress after that. Okay. Let's do take the portal. We're going to head down.
Turns out the relic I needed to get to see hidden platforms was locked behind a merchant item that I had to buy. A key. And I, I never did that. Probably should have just bought everything she has. I have a lot of money. My souls in the upper right are tears. Thirty-seven K. Okay, from here, let's go check out this section. I just can check out every unexplored area. Some of the stuff is locked off by shortcuts. So we'll see where we can and can't go. Not ideal. We've not figured out a way to get around the fart gas. That's got to be another item. I should probably look that up. Another relic that allows us to pass through the areas of the poison fog. Hey. Three Suns says, oh, sorry, I spaced. This is Metroidvania. Yes. Blasphemous gameplay wise and style wise very much like metroidvania and concept this is the one that has like the really interesting re religious imagery themed world there's a lot of kind of souls like elements and it's decently difficult too this game is hard Fart gas below. Wait. No, not completely. I just didn't go down here. Huh. If I touch that, I will take damage over time. It's quite dangerous. Freesun says, those do seem to be popular. Like, Lies of P was big for a bit, right? I remember we were, I played it a lot. You were talking about things that take like souls like ideas and whatnot I'd say so this game it's more metroidvania than souls but kind of the the difficulty of it and the fact that like if you die you have to go and get back to your corpse like you do like a corpse run because your magic the blue bar is my magic if I die I lose a portion of that permanently until I get my my corpse back Okay, we got another. Got another healing flask. Okay, that was that was worth. Could always use more of those. And now down here. Ow. Couldn't go there before. Oil of pilgrims. Maximum magic up. Okay. Also worthwhile. Wow, that was here the whole time? I could have got another healing. Huh. Okay. Uh oh. Maybe not jump straight off the cliff like a moron. I guess we couldn't have gotten down here without this relic. But we could have got the health flask. Okay, we're gonna go up. See if we can get to anything now that we have this item. Aw. One thing I'm kind of learning, and, and 
this game is the first kind of true Metroidvania I think I've streamed. It's Blaster Master Zero sort of Metroidvania-like, but it's a lot more of like a, an old-school type game. Similar, I guess, in ideas. But I don't know if it's a good idea for me to stream these types of games. It takes me so long to get through them. This is the type of game if I was playing on my own time, I would just take my time with it and run around and see what I can find. But given we don't make rapid progress at all <laughs> on these streams, it would be like a year before I beat it. So I'll have to think about it. There, the second one of these are. The second game just came out earlier in 2023. I do want to play it, but I don't know if I'm going to stream it. I've heard it's good. Oh, it's hitting, hitting my toes. Not what I wanted to do. I just can't touch any portion of that. Poison Mist, retake damage over time. Ah. Did I, did I come through here? I don't remember this part. Kind of sucks. Maybe not. I don't know why, but... Silver Lung of Dolphos. If this gets me through... Yep. <laughs> okay. It turns out the, the answer to the fart gas was up here the whole time. I guess I just assumed you couldn't pass through here and didn't bother. All right, well, we're, we're learning things today. That does clear up several areas in the game that I couldn't pass through before because it's the same poison miasma. Yeah, that just negates that hazard completely now. Okay, let's go over here. So far, we've picked up a couple relics. We increased our healing, and we increased our magic. Definitely worthwhile side trip. Okay, I guess that's just there to help you out. Okay, yeah, we didn't bother coming through here. I think I did, and then, yeah, it was the platforms at the end. Let's deal with you first. 
first. Melted golden coins. Okay, there's a chair up here. These are basically collectibles. It's kind of annoying. I can't get at this one. There's got to be a double jump. I've been saying that the entirety of this playthrough. There has to be either a double jump or flight ability we get. But not yet. 83% in, in the game. Okay. Okay. That clears out this part. I guess we can loop around through the cistern. This is a an elevator, but it doesn't. No, let's go take a look. I don't think it stops each of those points. Those are all ex exploration points. But we'll just make our way through and see. There's spots in the cistern that were full of poison as well. I think so. We can work on completing the map. here might op open up shortcuts between zones too now that we have some of those new relics very metroidvania and metroidvania first but also souls like okay, that was viridiana she is now dead Oh, okay. Got whatever's in there. Yeah, so there must be another circular path that's going to connect down here because you could see the platforms and there's stuff to get. We, we pass by. Yeah, see, probably, probably five. How do you say your name? Pro probably five. I didn't get a first time chat from you, so you must have been here before. But I don't recognize your name. What? Oh, it's you, Med. Okay, I don't think I've seen you with with uh, that name. I know you change it every once in a while, but uh, hey, good to see you. I will try and remember that for next time. All right, now we're here. Let's head over. We are looking at exploring more of the map in, in Blasphemous and trying to unlock more stuff as we go. I've been chugging away at that Blasphemous for a bit, but because since I only stream it like every other week or every couple weeks, it's slow progress.
Oh, all right, all right. So this is this is another circular path. So I think we need to probably unlock this from over here. And I wonder if that unlocks both sides. We need to get over there. Prison asked, "Y'all ever play Remember Me by Don't Nod games in 2013?" I never played it, but I watched some people do like a let's play of Remember Me. That one, I don't remember. I don't remember. Ha. Huh? A lot about it but it's kind of like a, an action third person action type game it's been a while but I, I vaguely remember it I just haven't played it myself Roy, 2013 over a decade ago boy Time really does fly. Oh yeah, the main character has amnesia. That tracks with the title. But yeah, I don't, don't remember too much about that one. Was it any good? Have you played it? Nah, no, you're good, Mad. You didn't miss much. Oh, okay, Capri Sun, you're playing. Remember me now. You'll have to let us know what you think as you play through it. Uh. Oh, there's another one of these down here. Ah, uh, nah. Another spot to increase our healing. Okay. Also would have been good to know earlier on in the game. It's, uh, it's been so long since I last joined. It has. It does seem like it's been a while. Hopefully your new year is off to a good start. I think 2024 is going to be an interesting year. But I am looking forward to a lot of the content. As, you know, different things in the world are chaotic. Hopefully whenever we're here, we can hang out and vibe and just chill for a bit. That is always the, the goal of the streams here. Which is why it's not like a current events or news stream. I didn't really find that type of content to be something I wanted to do. Uh, okay, we've got to go over and then up. That says, I'll be real, it can't be worse than 2023. Oh, there's a lot of, of factors at play. For those of us that live in the States, it's an election year, and election years are always pretty chaotic. But, there's always a lot of other things to look forward to, besides just general chaos and whatnot. Capri Sun says, plays on max graphics for an 11 year old game. No surprise, but the combat's interesting. I struggled with it as I did with most games. It's not a character action game, right? It's, is it, is it like a brawler? I just remember it being like a futuristic kind of setup, but I have no idea how it plays. It's been forever. Hey, ugh. That's trouble. Med says, for me, it's graduation year. I'm so nervous because it's a test that will decide my whole life and I have an important talk later. Well, good luck. Good luck with your studies and your test. Hope everything goes well. I'm sure it'll be fine. Just do your best. Uh, I guess I never came up here either. Empty bile vessel. Oh, okay. I needed to come here first and then go here. I, I got to backtrack. The bile vessels are, are healing. So that, that means another healing flask. Which means if I had been following progression properly by the time I got here, I might have had double the amount of healing that I had when I came through initially. That may have made the game unintentionally harder. 
as a result. Alright, here's all of the fart gas stuff that we had to avoid. Now it's not an issue with that one relic that lets us just pass through. Sun says you have to build your combos with a thing called presence and there's a DLC that gives extra strong presence so it's a type of resource it sounds like Med asks mind me asking how you survive math in school I'm not the best person to ask because I'm not very good at math so it was never really my strong suit but how I got through it was by seeking out resources that would help me when I got stuck, which is kind of a generic answer. But I'm the type of person where if I don't get something, I can't beat my head against a wall and figure it out. And so it just meant I had to study with other people. Nice, another healing. And figure out a way to understand what I needed to do, as opposed to trying to just, like spin my wheels and hope it made sense eventually. That's a kind of probably not a super helpful hint but I do get it because again I'm not a, a math person I'm an I'm an artist and I'm sure there are artists that are good at math but the the non math and science stuff I was better at back in school and it's tough but you have to be able to pass all the different things in order to get through it so you can't ignore it Man, I don't know if your your school offers resources to help when it comes to studying and people you can talk to or meet with your teachers, but a lot of times that could be helpful. You know, kind of like one-on-one -on -one time talking to the instructors, just if something's not making sense to see if they can help explain it to you. Did I just not come through here? Oh, okay, this is a path we couldn't get through before. Freeson says, I'm a non-math scientist. Well, there's a lot of, not a lot of science heavily leans on math, but as a person who's not good at either, I know how that goes. Hmm. I cannot get up there. Okay, well. We need something else that's going to allow us to... Get get the vertical needed to get up through here. Which again, leads to my theory that we're going to get some sort of jump ability and or flight. Else, how else will we be able to get up there? Can't grab any of these. Med says, I'm an all A B student at math I have the worst grade. I Let's really got go. <laughs> oh, hey, we got a raid from homie TGI Ramen. What's up, Ramen? What's up, folks? Let me uh let me get the shout out. Let me pause this for a sec. I wonder if it's cap sensitive, because we're gonna find out. Valorant. You were playing some Valorant, huh? How did the Valoranting go? Hopefully much, much dubs were copped. We were playing through some Blasphemous. Doing some map, map exploration. And talking about school, apparently. Well, what I was reading uh, from Med further up in the chat, they were talking about Struggles with math, which I can relate to. Free Sun had said, You'd be so surprised how much science and math start intertwining at higher levels. Even anatomy and biology have math involved in them. 
That's true. I definitely ran through enough math and science courses to know not only was I not good at it, but I didn't really enjoy it. I didn't find it interesting. Which tends to kill my motivation for something if I don't find it interesting. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this part we can't go through. I guess we can circle down through here. I don't know what's up in this section in the churches. What we're doing here is we're kind of systematically going through areas to try and complete the map and find stuff we might have missed. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna circle up through here. Might as well since we're right, right next to it. That says chemistry is my love, so we're obviously English and German. Well, that makes sense. Raman says had two very close games. Originally, it was. Tech talk, unfortunately, a copper circle burnt up during a joystick replacement, so it's a dead controller. Oh, well, that's no good. Were you doing uh were you doing tech work on stream? Or just talking about it? Probably pay attention to what I'm doing. Lava King says, Oh, Blasphemous. I know that from Dead Cells. Hey, what's up, Lava King? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, Blasphemous is, is not a roguelike. It's, it's a Metroidvania with some Souls elements. But the, the graphical style, it's kind of similar to Dead Cells. I don't think it was this made by the same company? I think I would know that if it was made by the same company, but... I've said before, as difficult as this game is, it is beautiful. The sprite art is crazy. Love King says, I've been here for 40 minutes. Just had to shave. I see. Well, still welcome. I don't check the, the chat log. Or the, yeah, the chat list to see who's here. But if people want to lurk, that's fine. I don't, I don't make a big deal of people who don't talk during the streams. I did see Capri Sun and, and Med talking a little bit about German. I'm not even going to try and pronounce all the German words. I, I don't speak German at all. It would just end very poorly. All right, let's head, yeah, up. Is there any faster way to, nope. Eh, I guess we could port to here. That's probably faster. Let's do that. Matt, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. I can't believe that's one word. Actually, I can believe it. What is it? It's Welsh, right? Welsh language that has the one town in Wales that has the like 150 letter long name. I only know it because Sea Dog VA has talked about it a few times and he can actually say the whole thing. Uh, let's see, we want to go to. Where is that? Ferris tree. Okay. Med says, can you know, please not use hard English words? I speak English. All right, but not that good. Uh, you're fine. J you can always let us know if, if you need clarification on, on stuff. I... Try not to use big words to sound like a you know pretentious douchebag who uses big words for the sake of using big words. But people have the right to call me out if I do that too much. Now I I do know Schadenfreude. That's a that's a German word. 
I know that one because the concept is hilarious to me. But yeah, language can be tricky. It's someone who's studied Japanese quite a bit. Get some really complex long words in Japanese as well. Free Sun asked, Raku, do you know the Schadenfreude song from Avenue Q? That's probably the first time I heard that word, actually. Avenue Q is great. I got a chance to see that live. It's a, it's a hilarious musical. Lava King says, Knowing big words is fine, but using them all the time, in my opinion, is pretentious because it's just vocal flexing. Yeah. It's also not fun to talk to people who do that because they intentionally make you sound like you're not as smart as them. So that's why I try not to do that because it's not, not pleasant. It doesn't help if you work in a really technical field where there's a lot of big, complex, fancy words. So I have to do that for my job, which is why I try not to do it when I'm doing things for fun and content. Oh, here. What, was, what did we miss down here? Huh. Uh, I thought I came down here. Maybe not. We'll, we'll complete the map. That says I'm failing French class. So you have to take French, German, and English? Oh, that's why. It's the platforms. That sounds challenging. French is a an interesting language. I've never studied it, but I know a bit. Tentudia's carnal remains. What is that? Is that another equipable? No, oh, no, this is these are gathered items. What does it do? Okay, well, we might have to give that to someone at some point. Oh, I see. Med says we have to learn two other languages other than German. And I see Lava King says I used to work for a tech company. Two tech companies. I didn't know that. We don't really talk about work much here. So that might be why it's never come up. Oh, I, I see Lava King. One was for 3D printing. Interesting. 3D printing is something that I really wanted to get into. I, I talked about it before when we did the the 3D modeling stream a long time ago. It was like several months back. Because I have a background in 3D modeling, I really wanted to get into 3D printing. But it's I have too many hobbies, and it's not cheap. It's cheaper now. Back when I was first interested in it, it was a lot more expensive to get the equipment. I just have a whole bunch of stuff that I'm doing. Trying to learn 3D printing would just be an additional drain on my time. And I'd get even less done than I do now. Did I not? Huh. Did I not go all the way up? We're inside the Ferris tree. I right, see so we got a hydrate from Med and a stretch from Capri Sun. Lava King says, on the topic of the 3D prints, I'm assuming two red lantern rings, one Hylian shield, two of the one ring in the eye of Agamotto. Nice. That's cool. Oh. 
I guess I didn't come up here. Ned says, I'm so excited for my grad party, though. Is your graduation in the spring, or is it, is it now? I, I don't know when the German school year normally runs. Well, it's really ornate room. Quicksilver. I need to find the, the NPC that I need to give that to. I don't remember where they are. I think here. Probably here. Maybe we should do that, since it's right next to a portal. Okay, whatever this is, we can't do anything in this area. Okay. Ah, exams, end of May, start of June, party, so summer. Yeah, it's pretty similar to the American school year. Well, good luck. Again, good luck on your exams. Hope they go well. Uh, okay, where am I going now? Maybe I should look at my destination. This is... Albero. Oh, the town. Okay, right below the town. We can look at upgrades. We're at level four of the sword. So we can upgrade plunging or the lunge. I guess we can get this one. And I don't use the plunge that often. And this is the max level of the sacred onslaught. Okay. Ah. That probably does a lot of damage. Hmm. Okay. You know, these... These are the wound... Kissing people. It's their whole shtick. We can give certain items. And we get rewards, Merciful I think. Be, penitent one. With your contribution, the work of this brotherhood carries on. Tears of Atonement. Okay. Oh, is that just... Is that money? Capri Sun asks, can we talk about alcohol? Yeah, we can talk about alcohol. That's fine. Oh. Okay, garlic. That's another thing. We get rewards. Merciful be, penitent one. With your contribution, the work... Oh, yeah, okay. These are monetary rewards. How many more traps? We've talked about alcohol in the stream before, Capri Sun. It's fine. But with the caveat for anyone who is listening, consume alcohol if you're of legal age in your respective country. I'm legally required to say that so I don't get into trouble. Uh, I wasn't here. Oh, here. This is the... The bones. I don't wonder what we get for collecting all of these. These are strewn throughout the game. Prisant says, I've learned how to make alcohol and implying my knowledge. I see. Well, be careful. Don't, don't blow up your kitchen if you're using something that requires distillation. I have a friend of mine who got into beer making. He used to do a bunch of different see types of, from the other side of beers. Of which I think that's less likely to blow your kitchen up. Love King asks, Raku, did you see the alien news? As of today, I have not. I haven't really been on news outlets much today. I had work stuff and I'm kind of busy. Why? What happened now? They find more quote unquote evidence like they brought to Mexican Congress a few months back. It turned out to be false, or debunked. Ned says, man, grad party will be the downfall. We'll all be the age you can drink. Anything and buy almost everything. Well, be be responsible. I'm, I'm not your I'm not your parent, but don't go too hard. 
Especially if it's your first time drinking. Yeah, okay. This this dude. Quicksilver. Improve flasks. Graceful be the heart. This probably increases the healing abilities. I'm gonna With assume. this silver, I bless the mixture. Yep. It will recover your spilled blood. This guy's got a quado. Total recall. Yep. Healing. Man, that would have been good to have earlier in the game. Well, Lava King says, no, this re re a video was released by the military of a UFO flying over a base named Chandel Chandelier, huh? Interesting. Oh, further up. I see Capri Sun says, if a makeshift valve made of a balloon, worst case, the balloon pops, my kitchen doesn't blow up. It just fills with carbon dioxide. I see. Med says, I always forget that you work for me. You just have the money. It's just there for me. Yeah, I don't really talk about work too much. It's not really that exciting. But I am a functional, quote-unquote, adult. All right. Graceful be the heart. I wonder how many of these upgrades I can get. With this silver, I... And it takes money? Yeah, it looks like it takes money. Oh, hold on, hold on. Bring me the quicksilver. So this burns one of our flasks, but it makes them more potent, I think, and it takes a chunk of cash. Interesting. Well, I don't want to burn them the all, silver. but okay. All right, that's that's really interesting. We still have quicksilver, but I'm gonna keep five for now, and we'll we'll just see how effective the healing is. Man, it says, can't you just make money as an alien? I don't think I'd want to publicly tell everybody that I'm an alien. Especially since Lava King's talking about alien news. Wouldn't want the government to stick me in a lab and poke me with needles all day. I'd rather just work a regular job and pay my tax and keep the heat off me. Okay. So let's see, we, we got some valuable stuff in here. Let's take a look at the rest of the map and see what else is here. We could try up here. This is sleeping canvases. We can go to Mercy Dreams and walk over here. This Oh, this is Library of Engated Words. Okay. Both these areas. I think we did the, the, these spots last time. <laughs> Okay. In fact, I should just go back. Yeah, go up, back to the town, port over. Check that area out. Yeah, let's go here. Yeah, I think you're onto something there, Lava King, as far as the global powers and their their true goals. You can be sure, this is you know, my tinfo hat conspiracy theory, you can be sure the government, at least in, in most countries, probably already knows about alien technology. It's just a matter of time before we all find out about it, I'm sure. Oh, whoops, wrong one. Mercy Dreams.
There it is. Okay, we want to go loop around here and check this spot. There's actually a couple spots here we can just make sure have been fully explored. And we'll see. Okay, yeah, I can't get to you. Could if I had a double jump. This is the, the gallery. It's kind of a cool area. Reminds me of a Castlevania stage. Haunted Library. Hey. Rude. Oh, I could have got that just by dropping off, huh? not go higher without some sort of vertical ability. Ned says it is 1 a.m. We'll be heading to sleep now. Hope to see you soon and wish me luck. All right, Med, thanks for tuning in and hanging out. And good luck with your studies. Hope everything goes well. And I will catch you later. This was a spot with all this. Yep. Figures. We can actually do something here now that we have the relic. Let's just get to the platforms. Okay. Not... That was the greatest example, but it definitely looked like we healed more than 25%. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, you? Nope. Okay, yeah, two, two tiers of improvement on the healing flask. Pretty significant. I have to flip the switch and no, nope, I'm gonna be able to do one at a time. I did this puzzle before. I just don't remember what I did. It's annoying. Really annoying with these weird Pope hat things flying around. Can't grapple those. Hmm. 
Unless I'm just not clearing my jumps by a little bit. No. I, I'm not high enough. Okay, let's see how we get there. Prison says the great wine might be all vinegar now. What are you specifically trying to make? Are you trying to make wine? I think I can get up there from fast enough. Maybe not. Maybe not while it's moving. Hmm. Too bad we have no way of hitting the platform from the other side. Or hitting it from up here. I know that's not the way that's supposed to work. Unless we're supposed to get there from a different spot. Yeah, I was going to say grab it. Hit the switch and grab it, but we're not fast enough. Can't do that. It's almost like we need a double jump, which from now I'm going to assume that's why I can't do that. Okay, on the topic of wine, Capri Sun says, trying to make wine, one from grape juice and the other from apple cherry juice mix. Interesting, so I'm assuming you have to take that and ferment it, get all of your stuff set up to ferment, and then however long that process takes in order to get th the sugars and whatnot to convert to alcohol. A friend of mine, his father makes mead. He hasn't done it for a while, but for a bit he was making Loganberry mead, which is a type of alcohol made from honey. And that was delicious. Okay, here, here's another spot that we can check out. Or not. Hmm. Oh, I might need to hit switches again. Did you come here, Mamie? Oh, no, I know where we're at. Now, these don't move. Hmm. Might be a one-way path from another side. This is just activating the platform. It doesn't do anything. 
Prison says, yeah, at certain points during the fermenting process, if exposed to oxygen, the whole thing will become vinegar. Oh. So you have to keep it sealed. Or keep it from getting exposed. Assuming that's what the balloon filter thing ha is meant to do. I don't know anything about making alcohol. I just consume it from time to time. came through here before. Okay. Well, can't get up there, but we can check what's up at the top of this spot and see. Okay, let me... I'm not going to read your paragraph word for word, Capri Sun, but I will look at it and just see what you said. Ah, okay. Yeah, so the balloon functions like a, a valve for the process. That makes sense. Where did you learn how to do all this stuff? Okay, yeah, this is a new spot. But we can't get up there. But we do have access to something over here. These ghosts can't be killed. Oh, okay. It's a sin absolution station. Okay. Well, we could head over to Mother of Mothers and see if there's anything we can unlock in here now that we have those relics. It's right next to it. Prisan says, I'd, I'd say I've probably known how to do this since I was 14, but never be put into practice until now, probably. Probably the best 14-year-old me not, to not be drinking. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Okay, let's head through here. For the love of the high wills, make this so. Ran into that dude. But I don't know how to help him out. But on the topic of alcohol, since... Hey... Since Capri Sun mentioned it, and I know we've talked about it before on stream, but maybe not with everybody that's here now. For those of you who are of legal drinking age, what is your favorite type of alcohol? Always curious. And if you don't drink, that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You're probably better for it, honestly. I will say talked about it before but I don't drink beer or wine I've never developed a taste for it not a fan okay we're up up to the right Prison says Elysian space Elysian, Elysian space dust it's an IPA which stand, stands for if pine cones or alcohol it's only only one I can taste I have never heard of that one I don't know much about IPAs and beers in general because I don't drink them. But I'm sure people I know who do have probably heard of it. Lava King says, I don't know what it is, but there's this thing called TMNT, which is Sourpuss, Apple, 7-Up, and Lime Juice. Oh, so it's like a cocktail. Mixed drink. Sounds pretty good. Sounds tart. Sounds tart and sweet. AKA, drink too many of them and get a wicked hangover. But that sounds decent. Okay, yeah. 
stronger beers. I think it could be a different fermentation process. Yeah. A bunch of people I used to know were, like, really, really into IPAs. Again, all beer tastes the same to me, which really makes beer connoisseurs mad when I say that, so I generally just avoid it. Can't help it, man. Just, I don't have the palate for it, so whether it's a $25 microbrew from another country or a Bud Light, it all tastes the same to me. And boy, will that make some people mad. Okay. Uh, oh. Yep, again, can't get up there. That's got to be a shortcut. But do these paths connect? We, we definitely went through here when we went towards the top part of this section. I think this is where we fought that homeboy with the hammer. Oh, these paths totally connect. I should have looked over here. See what's over here. Ow. Yeah, okay. Our, our healing does so much more now. It's a good thing we found that this session. Probably would have made... A few of the boss fights have gone through a little bit easier if my healing went further, but... Fine. There's a lot of these guys in here. We're just going to keep going. Oh, we're up here. Okay. I guess we can go check out this area in Mother of Mothers. So, since we're talking about alcohol, and I, I asked the question, I can chime in for me personally, since I can't drink beer or wine. I think I've talked about it before, but I like spirits and cocktails. Those are my go-tos. For spirits, hard alcohol. My favorite's rum, followed by Japanese whiskey, then tequila, and then scotch. The only type of hard liquor I won't drink is gin. I don't like gin. Cocktails. One of my favorites is an old-fashioned. Because I'm old and it's a good drink. But I'm also partial to sidecars, Manhattans. Moscow mules. A couple of the places I've been to in the area have some interesting proprietary cocktails they make with different things. Oh, here. Oh, boy. Yeah, this place... This place was not fun. I'm trying to motor through here. Because that thing will kill me. There's something up there. Wonder if I can get up there quickly. Ah, oh, there, there's probably something really good up there, huh? <sighs> Not a healing. And there's. Oh, the save point. Oh, I should have gone here. I could have saved here and then tried this again. There's, there's something up there. Great. Probably gonna die. Sun says, someone who lives in, I think it's whiskey bourbon country, I would really like to try Japanese whiskey. Well, I can definitely give you some recommendations if you ever are in a position where you can try them. 
Regular whiskey bourbon tends to be a bit too burny for me. There's a couple that I've tried that I think are pretty decent. But Japanese whiskey is a lot smoother. It doesn't have that kind of caustic burn that some of the whiskeys can have. Which is why I like it. Like, give me something smooth because I don't need something that's going to light me on fire. Asian markets might have it, Capri Sun. Um, they're not cheap. The, the, the better than average Japanese whiskeys. But one of my favorites... One of my favorites is called Hibiki. Here, I'll put it in the chat. It's a Suntory product, which is a pretty big whiskey company in Japan. But it's a Suntory Hibiki. That's a really good one. I'd say a good price for it. It's hard to tell because the market keeps doing weird things when it comes to the price of alcohol. But I wouldn't pay more than like 70 bucks for it. It's expensive. But I've seen people charge like 120 for it. That's too high. Good price for like would be like 65 or 70. But it's it's an upper shelf Japanese whiskey. But it's really good. Been kind of hard to find lately. That company also makes another flavor called Toki. T-O-K-I. Also pretty good. It's a little bit punchier than Hibiki, but still smoother than your average bourbon or, or regular whiskey. That one might be easier to find, and if you can't find the Hibiki, that's a good one to try too. It's just going to be a little less smooth. I did see that uh, Lava King, you said you invented a drink. Um, what was it? What's in it? put the ingredients in the chat Lava King says I'm planning to go to Japan with my dad for for my 30 and his 60th oh nice when is that you're not you're not close to 30 I don't think could have sworn you were one of the young whippersnappers of the group but I could be wrong I don't normally ask people their ages. I mean, that's a weird thing to ask people. But that should be fun. Have you started planning it yet? The the trip to Japan? The drink is called Red 5. Sourpuss, raspberry, Sprite, and lemon juice. Okay. So, kind of like a, I'm trying to think of an equivalent, like, drink I can think of. Almost like a, like a pucker or sour base drink, like a berry flavor with a Sprite. Sounds good. Again, sounds sweet. You gotta be careful with, like, sweet type cocktails. It, they'll taste good, but if you drink too many of them, you'll have the worst hangover ever because of the sugar. Oh, Lava King said they turned 27 this year. Ah, so it's, it's a little ways away, but it's something to look forward to. I could definitely give recommendations for stuff in Japan to check out. I will be going there next month, which I think I've mentioned already. It's hard to believe it's coming up. Okay, so we've got the shortcut open now. That's good. I need to get my corpse. We're heading up here to the Art Cathedral rooftops. Let's check out these sections here to see if we can fill in stuff, especially up here. It's a good chance that we can get there now that we've got that relic.
Bob King says, my dad travels a lot and went to Japan once before, but my biggest fear is lasting the flight from Canada to Japan. How long does it take to fly direct from where you're at? Is it direct? Not not non-direct flights suck. I know that's what Matt and Wazzy had to do. And I, I I don't know where in Canada you live, Lava King, but for for me where I'm I'm out on the west coast, it takes about eleven hours to fly from a major airport to Japan. It's really not that bad. I, I guess I'm just the type of person who can keep occupied for a long time. But it is long. It is a lengthy flight. Oh, okay. I'm sure you'll find out when it gets closer, but... If you can do a direct flight, it's probably something like... You know, between 8 and 10 hours if you're on the West Coast. Oh. East Coast. Yeah. Maybe it'll be shorter. Depends on where the flights have you passed through. Capri Sun says East Coast, I think, takes 20 hours. Yeah, from where you're at, Capri Sun, I don't know if you can fly direct. Oh, yeah, we're here. Uh, let's go pass through this section, save here, and then I'm going to try this, this area again. I want to see what's up there. That's what we were trying to do when we died. King says, whatever coast Toronto is on. Toronto's east coast. I believe. I think it's the same time zone as EST for for us here in the States. So yeah, I don't know anything about how the Toronto flights to Japan work. You'd have to just look at the airlines and see how it, it maps out. Hawking King says, ah, oh, man, east is the worst of the cardinal directions? I don't know. Northwest, southeast? I have some, some thoughts on the south, but that's only because I've, I've been to the south of this country. Doesn't mean south is bad everywhere. All right, let's clear these suckers out. We have safe spots we can duck. But if we're airborne and that thing comes through, then we're gonna get clipped. I think it's a one shot too. I'd rather not find out. I think we're clear. Oh, is there another one in here? Or is it the same one swinging through? Ugh. I think it's a different one? Hard to tell. I don't want to find out. I'm going to assume that's going to clean my clock if it hits me. Oh, and I'm on a time limit, and that's a pit. Uh, there may be something good up here. King says, now Raku, here's a philosophical question for you. What color do you associate with numbers one through nine? Uh, like the, all the numbers one through nine? That's an interesting question. I guess I don't really associate colors with numbers. 
it'd be different if we were talking like hex values or something like that. But I, I, I think if I think of any of the numbers one through nine, I don't associate them with any colors, but that's just me. It's the same thing again. Same thing, we're gonna go up, try and get through. Oh, I see, Lava King. You've got like a number association with each number one through nine, and each one's a different color. That's interesting. How did you come up with that? Is it just sort of like a, a direct association when thinking about it? Ow, right in the chins. Oh, that's not a safe spot. Maybe it's the lowest point where it's not completely safe. Oh, it's the chain too? I thought it was just the big metal object. It's the chain too, I think. The whole thing is a, a hitbox. Oh, there might be something good up here. Man. I think you can be jumping up as it's swinging through. So we'll wait for it to swing all the way through and then we're gonna try and book it as fast as possible. Wow, that was really close. Oh, I see Lava King says, I think, it, I think of it as what colors player one then work my way up. King says, also, Araku, looking forward to your stream if there is one tomorrow, because tomorrow is Judo Day. That's right, it's Thursdays. Uh, yeah, we have a regular scheduled stream tomorrow. It's going to be more Dyson Sphere program. And barring any, any like unforeseen schedule issues, but there shouldn't be. Okay, so we really can't Dilly dally here. <laughs> Gonna assume that whole thing's a hitbox. Now where am I supposed to go? Wow, I was lucky. I should just drop straight down. Yep. Okay. That's ah. <laughs> I had I had a second. If you take too long, the platforms disappear. But I did have a second to wait for the thing to swing away. Oh. And then just drop me straight into the pit. I swear, if this is going to be the section where I get like a double jump. I will laugh. Same thing as last time. I'll wait for this thing to swing through. And let me book it. Ah. Oh. Timing is super tight there.
Okay, yeah, we have to we have to clear it with that second to last platform. Oh man. Should have waited again. It's tough because I can't really wait too long, otherwise the platform just disappears. So there's no safe spot. You have to just kind of go for it. Yeesh. Noxious section. Like I said, there better be something good here. Let's see if we can clear through this section and then we'll, we'll see where that puts us for the stream. I guess I could have just ducked there or healed. This thing does like what a quarter every time. I'm gonna have to go get my sins cleansed at some point. It's gonna eat up most of my magic. Can jump it there. Okay, that's good to know. It swings higher. It swings higher. Man, that's brutal. Okay, all right. Ugh. Jesus. Smoking heart of incense. All right, what is that? Oh. Okay. Enhances the power and duration of magic but also decreases their cost by one fervor bar. That's also good. I can only have one of these on at any given time. Do I have to de-equip it? Or are these always on? Right now, it's, it's it's this one. Heart of Virtuous Pain is on, I think. Oh, I think I have to do this. I have to do this at the altars. Okay. Okay, that's that's not terrible. That's that's a useful item. Lord. Costly though. 
we're just going to leave. We'll go to one of the forgiveness altars, or wherever they call them, and we'll get our magic back that way. For now, we're just going to book on out of here. Sun says, sorry, chili prep distracted me. Nah, you're good. Chili for dinner, huh? That sounds good. What do you usually put in your chili, Capri Sun? Okay, let's make our way up here and see if we can get anything over there. And eventually we'll find a place to purge our sin, whatever. We'll check out this last section, then we'll wrap up for today. We couldn't get through. But I don't think I can get high enough to hit that ledge. So maybe we have to go to the left. above. Which is good. How am I supposed to get over there? That's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to drop down a little bit. That didn't have to happen. Okay, yeah. So we can put this on. This one increased the duration of blocking stance. That's what it was. Oh, that's like a that's like a f several frame difference. Okay, well, I'll have to get used to that timing. So now we can actually go up here. Yeah, I went this way. Mostly vertical area, lots of tricky jumps. There it is. I think we're missing one more item here that's going to allow us to get this thing to stop at a specific level. And I've not been up here yet. Should 
Shield. Wait, I want to see what's up there. Magic meter. We're about almost fifty percent down, though. This lowers it, I think. Oh, no, we can't lower it anymore. Okay, let me go up. Pretty sure we don't have the item we need to. Yeah, we'd get a prompt here if we could change it. This is a path we just opened up with the. Yep. Okay, so let's look over here before we go all the way up top. to take out the hazard, I guess. Now I need to jump off of this platform and hit the wall, I'm assuming. Yep. Not get sniped by fireballs. came here first. That is where we're trying to go up here. Probably. Let's not just drop down blindly and land right on the spikes again. Now we can head up. In fact, I'm going to head up. I'm going to save since there's a save spot right there. That would be the responsible thing to do. was the dumb way to die. Now we're, we're under 50%, I think. Oh, well. So 
get this another portion of our magic meter back. Yep, this connects to the spot we were just at. Oh boy, I don't know what it is. It's a little mini boss room. Now with more distraction angels. bad if we just time our parries. Mark of the Third Refuge. Okay. for the sword. Whoop. Let's see what we got. Sacred blood. This is the projectile attack. Oh, it becomes a boomerang. That's useful. We're at five. So these last ones are coming up. Okay. Nope, nope, we're just gonna, just gonna keep going. <laughs> right off the cliff. Brilliant. Brilliant. I should still have that item, though. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go find a spot to get all my magic back. But... No, I, th I thought, is it, is it for this thing? Maybe not. Free Sun says, No, Raku, you're clearly four parallel universes ahead of us, and this is going to come into play in the future. We'll find out. Is this the bottom? This is the bottom. Okay, we still need the whatever last set of eyes in the statue. Because this thing goes higher. It, I don't know why it doesn't go there. Could be that's what we need in order for it to stop there. Because we're not able to stop the platform manually. It just goes where it's going to go. But I think there's another layer up top. Okay. Well, we've definitely... We definitely completed more of the map. We're 87% now. And we picked up some really valuable items this run. Uh, I'll go teleport somewhere. We'll fix our magic and then we'll call that a stream. That we're not starting the next session off at a severe disadvantage with a third of our magic gone. Where's the nearest 
sin remover guy. Uh, hmm. Oh, so we got hydrate, stretch, and a save reminder. <sighs> Will do. Probably here, I guess. We'll go to the Brotherhood of Silent Sorrow. I wonder if the charge is depending on how much you have to recover. I guess we're going to find out. I have a lot of money. doesn't really matter. 3k? Ah, uh, I, can, I can deal with 3k. We've expatiated our guilt. If only. Okay, we'll go over here and save, and then we'll, we'll take stock of what we did before we wrap up. So in addition to clearing some more of the map that we didn't have access to before, big break in the case here, obviously, was getting the, the artifact that lets us see the invisible platforms. We also got the anti-fart gas relic, which is good. Both of those things allowed us to clear out a couple more sections of the game. There's a lot that we haven't been able to get to yet. Uh, in Echoes of Salt, maybe we check this out next time. There's some stuff left here. The desecrated cistern. This is all the stuff from the elevator. Our point of interest. Where did we start? Uh, let's see. We were in... Oh, okay. There's some stuff in the convent. And the graveyard of the peaks. Earlier parts in the game. We were in the, d the prison. I'm trying to remember where on the map the prison was. Here. We were in the Wall of Holy Prohibitions. This is the next area that we were trying to complete. So we'll have to come back here. This is the spot with all the jail cells. But we're getting pretty close. I may have to go and look up where our, our next direct progression is. Uh, oh, we haven't done Echoes of Salt. This is the kind of sea caves area. I think. Unless that was over here in Low Creeds. No, that's the library. Yeah, still some sections of the game left to explore. So we're not quite done yet, but we're getting close. Hopefully within a couple sessions we'll be able to beat Blasphemous. I'm not going to try and 100% the map. That could probably take a long time. But we'll see. So with that... We will call that good for today. Let me go pull up the homie list and see who's online to raid. Let's see. I'm going to my main page. Page. Ah, Truck Summer's online. I haven't got a chance to raid them in a bit. And they're playing American Truck Simulator. That is... Definitely on brand. All right, we can go raid Truck Sama. So let me go ahead and cue this up. We will mute the game audio and click to outro. And we'll call that a wrap for today. So tomorrow we'll be back. I'll try and start earlier if I can, but if not, we'll be at the scheduled time, 4.30 Pacific. We will be returning to Dyson Sphere program and trying to make more progress in building on planet, off planet, and keep working our way up the tech tree. So if you want to see some more progress in Dyson Sphere program, feel free to stop by. But in the meantime, thanks to everyone who came and hung out. Shoutouts to Ramen for the raid. 
and let's go spread the positive vibes over at Truck Samba's channel.